Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is B. if you didn't know. I hope you're all doing well. This is a day late. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was working on a commission and I just didn't get around to filming or editing my video. So here we are. Just wanted to go over October with you. Originally this video was going to be just talking about Inktober, but I did not finish it. So we'll just talk a little bit about it. I got through six days of Inktober before dropping it. Uh, I also didn't do it in ink. Last year was my very first year ever finishing a prompt list for October, and I happened to finish like two or three of them. So I was very proud of myself, and it kind of set up some expectations for me for this year that I did not follow through with. <laughs> I wanted to challenge myself by doing Inktober, but because now I have a job, I just wanted to do one of them. Uh, and usually I don't like the Inktober prompts, like I just, they don't click with me as, as well as some of the other prompt lists do. So that was my challenge. I got through six days, and the day that I stopped was the prompt fan, and it was, yeah, I just, I just could not think of anything for it. Although, I did get through. Crystal, Suit, Vessel, Knot, Raven, and Spirit. And I discovered the Mirror Tool, or the Mirror Ruler on uh, Clip Studio Paint. That made everything so much easier, and I still, for some reason, was not able to finish it. I also learned to accept not fully rendering a project, because it was taking a lot of time, and it kind of turned me away from drawing for a really long time. So I really wanted to practice just getting the idea out and still having it look nice. Um, and I ended up really liking this like sketchy, not fully rendered style of mine. So if I do any more digital art in the future, like if I ever get into another role like I did on uh, last October, I'll probably do be doing a lot of sketching stuff. Uh, I, I wanted to start doing that so that I wasn't so turned away from doing digital art because digital art usually takes like a very long time for me and I always want to finish something as soon as I start it. Not as soon as I start it, but I want to do it all in one sitting. Having to put aside like three or four hours at a time to draw was not vibing with me. <laughs> so I decided to try out the sketchy versions and I liked them, so yay. I also did lots, lots of Genshin Impact fan art, or at least surrounding October, because I think the first couple that I did were in the month before. Uh, but I did do two of them for the prompt list. So um, for Spirit, I did uh, Chi Chi, and for Raven, I did Fiscal. Fischl? Fischl. Is that how you say your name? Moving on. I also did a bunch of exploring last month. It was so exciting! I love going to new places and doing new things. I found some great local places to get some beads that were a lot cheaper than at Michael's or like a lot more unique. It helps that I'm also supporting a local business. Um, I also found a crystal shop that I really really love that's in Roseville and I'm gonna be going there again soon. Uh, if you want to check out that video where I went to all the local shops, it's on my channel go check it out. <laughs> and I do have a lot more things like that planned for soon. I'm excited to do more exploring like that because it was really, really fun. I also went stargazing a lot in October. Ooh, I love looking at the stars now. I always thought that living in Sacramento, I'd never be able to do anything like that because we're in the city. And I always just kind of assumed that I wouldn't be able to see that many stars. But the longer I stay out there and the longer I look up at the sky, the more I can like pick out. I guess like my eyes just ad adjust to it more. It's like they just appear in front of me. It's amazing. It's such a beautiful experience. Moving on. I made some new channel art. That was, I think, the last full digital drawing that I did before I quit Inktober. <laughs> Um, but I'm very proud of it. I designed a cleaner looking banner for the channel. If I ever do make merch, the like white text in the middle with like the half circles on either side will be on it because I really like it. I also made a channel icon featuring me wearing a cardigan that I made this month. 
Uh, first time ever making a cardigan. There's also a video on that if you want to check it out. It is one of my favorite possessions ever. Although, living in California means I can't really wear it that often because it's very hot here. Um, but winter's coming, so... And more recently, like a little bit towards the end of the month, I made my first animation for the channel. Uh, it's just a transition. I think the first one I used it, the first video I used it in is my bleach tie-dye video. And then I used it a bunch of times in the berry video because I made it specifically for the berry video. I'm really happy with it. Like, I guess my technically my first animation was like a three-frame self-portrait that I did where like my hair's blowing in the wind and it's raining. Um, for some reason the rain isn't blowing either. I don't know. It's kind of bad. But I'm really happy with the flame one. It, I think it had like 30 or so, give or take, frames. Um, and it was like surprisingly easy to do. It was really tedious, but like I don't really mind that very much. So I might do more of those in the future. Stay tuned. And I also edited the new channel art that I made to like shift colors so I can use it in the videos too. I also used those in the last couple of videos. Here, here, here's a couple. There we go. They're so cute. I love them so much. I'm going to use them forever. We'll talk about Halloween a little bit. I, I kind of just makeshift my costume because I saw a pair of angel wings at Michael's and I really wanted them. I didn't really want to be an angel. I just wanted the wings. But I didn't really have an outfit planned or like really fun makeup or anything. I honestly didn't even get pictures of it because I had I had a little bit of a Halloween get together where we streamed over the garden wall. It was a little bit of a disaster. J just a little bit. Um, but I was very embarrassed for the very, for like the first part of it. So yeah, I don't remember it very much because I've decided to block it out of my memory. I wore like a red dress underneath. So after I put the dress on, I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm Cupid. So I was Cupid for Halloween. We, we love mixing holidays. I might as well have been Santa. Uh, here are some other things I did too. I got, this actually wasn't in October, this was two days ago. But I bought this little book of um, origami paper. It's, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's a bunch of like traditional Japanese designs. They're so cute, I love them so much. This will be a video eventually. <laughs> and here are some little doodles that I did. This is just planning for a cardigan that I'm gonna make for my stepmom. It's cute. It doesn't look like a cardigan right now, but it will eventually. My boyfriend says it looks like a creeper, so I'm never gonna get that out of my head. There are some other little doodles. These are kind of just vent art, but yeah, I like them. I think they're funky fresh. That's basically what I did for October and the several days after it. Come here, babe. Cheeto. If I go like this, he thinks I'm gonna scratch his head, so he'll come to me. Come. It was an interesting month. Kind of eventful, really. I've got a couple of videos planned in the future, and I hope you stick around to see them. Cheeto's got his cat butt in my fucking face. Thank you, bud. I hope you're staying healthy and hydrated and creative and well rested, because I didn't actually get very much sleep this month. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. I actually forgot to mention one last thing. We have reached 311 subscribers and I'm only a little bit past my one year uh, anniversary for this channel. Yay! <laughs> uh, thank you very much for enjoying my content and sticking with me. And I'm very appreciative to all the people that I know in real life that are watching my videos. To me, it seems like you already see me every day in real life and you're not bothered by also seeing me when I'm not with you. So I'm very, very much appreciative of you. I love you all very, very much. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope, I hope you enjoy the rest of my journey. And I love bringing you here with me. It's, it's been amazing. So yeah, goodbye. Thank you.